Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel where skincare is all about progression over perfection because perfection doesn't exist. We are almost halfway through the year, almost one month away, and I feel like I've this year more than ever, really discovered some brands I'm genuinely excited about and interested in. These aren't necessarily new brands, a couple of them are, but the majority of these are brands that I've only just really got around to trying or recently discovered through some very good Instagram advertising. And I kind of want to share them with you and some of the standout products from these brands. So let's start off with a sponsored segment in today's video. For those who follow me on Instagram, you'll know that I'm um, a little bit obsessed with like collecting fragrances. I go through these stages of collecting things and fragrances seems to be my new ones, obviously skincare, but fragrances seem to be the newest thing for me. And I have a genuine love for them. And the sponsor of today's video is a new brand who actually only launched in January of 2022 this year. And that is Eloria. Ooh. Today I'm going to be talking about their discovery set. <laughs> And these are two milliliter versions of their four fragrances and little spritz bottles. And I like to take these like little discovery sets away with me because I sometimes feel like if you just take what your favorite fragrance, sometimes you don't feel that fragrance that day. I feel like fragrance represents your mood and your mood can be changed by fragrance. So I always prefer to take a number of smaller samples with me just in case to match my mood or make me feel a certain way to prepare me for the day. As I mentioned, these are miniatures of their full size versions, which I got gifted earlier this year and I absolutely love them. Eloria launched, as I mentioned earlier this year in January with a mission to really bring Korean and fragrance to the forefront of the fragrance industry. And Aloria is a premium and more modern take on fragrance created by two Korean Americans, Wani Lee and Su Min Park. And their fragrances are really, really based on the centuries old tradition of fragrance and scent in Korea. And they kind of merge this balance of tradition, luxury and sustainability as well, really at the core of Aloria. So all in all, with everything wrapped up together, this was a fragrance brand that unsurprisingly, I was immediately interested in. So Aloria merges the word element and Korea together to make Aloria. And each fragrance is inspired by the trigrams on the South Korean flag, representing heaven, fire, water, and earth. In each of the fragrances, you have a traditional Korean ingredient. Water, we have our pochyon jasmine. Water being your citrusy, watery scents, your, you know, marine -y kind of smells. The earth fragrance in its heart notes has um, gohyung cypress, earth being mossy, woody smells. In fire, one of their top notes is Jeju Lime. Fire representing my favorite kind of notes, which is more like ambers. In their heaven bottle, one of their heart notes is Busan Green Tea. And heaven being that more fruity and floral scent. Really meaning there's a scent for everyone. And what I discovered more importantly is using the little testers. And when I first started using the full size bottles is that you know, in the morning I might feel one way and in the evening I might feel another way. In the morning I might feel like heaven, in the evening I might feel like fire. But all these fragrances just work really harmoniously together. If you wear two at a time, if you're one of those people who like to lay your fragrance, it never feels like they're fighting each other. They just seem to work so well together. What I love as well is all their fragrance are genderless. I don't really see the point in gender in fragrance. So I really align <laughs> with this belief. And their fragrances are only made in small batches, meaning that they can really pay attention to every every detail with every single bottle. And of course, all ingredients are sourced from Korea. And when it comes to buying fragrances, they can be expensive. So discovery sets, I, I like to call these fragrance libraries, it makes me feel posher, are really like the way to go because that's the point in them. You can kind of discover what one you really, really like. And as I mentioned, as your mood changes, so should your fragrance. So having like four little bottles that you can carry around with you everywhere, works perfectly for me. You can get 50 milliliter bottles for $125, the 100 ml for $195, or the Discovery Set for $30. And the Discovery Set actually comes with a $30 voucher for a full size bottle. So the, I guess this is technically free in a way. I don't know, I never pass mass. That's how it works for me. So if you are interested in these, of course, everything will be in the description box down below. And I thank you again to Eloria for sponsoring today's video. I call them Eloria for the longest time because they're like Element and Korea. So I was like, oh, Eloria. Moving on to the next one. Undefined is a brand that I've been going on about for the longest time. I've had my eye on them for the longest time on Instagram. And if you follow me across all social medias, you know I have been going on nonstop about their Undefined R&R Sun 
serum. Possibly one of my favorite sunscreens of not just this year, but of all time so far. And I've been wearing it for two and a half weeks now with absolutely no issue. But I want to introduce you to two more of their products I've absolutely been loving after introducing you to the brand. Undefined is a black owned brand who, whilst using terms that I don't really like, like clean beauty and non-toxic when it comes to their skincare, I love their approach, not just to the products that they create, but the world of skincare in general. They partner with female founded uh, BIPOC and LGBTQ plus businesses across their supply chain to create products that are really affordably priced. And I know I mentioned that I don't like the term clean and I'm not often a fan of plant-based products, but what I am a fan of is when a brand successfully merges science-backed natural ingredients with amazing actives and puts that all into skincare products that are a, a pleasure to use and actually work. As well as their sun serum, I've been using the R&R &R Mineral Mist every single day, about twice a day now for two weeks. It doesn't look like I have, look at that. And whilst it's still early days, it's usually around the two week line that I can feel any kind of potential irritation coming up, redness, etc. but my skin absolutely loves this. And on the first application, on the first spritz, you feel this immediate, immediate like refreshing and hydrating feeling on your skin. It contains all of our modern day skincare basics like niacinamide, glycerin, and even tremella mushroom, which is fast becoming the like hydrating ingredient standard. But we also have antioxidants like kakadu plum and sea kelp, for example, and a soothing and moisturizing favorite of mine, aloe. It's just keeping my skin very, very happy and hydrated. Another favorite that again, I've only been using for a couple of weeks, but my skin loves so far is the R&R &R gel cream. Gel creams are my favorite type of moisturizer. You get the best of both worlds, a really hydrating, nourishing moisturizer in a lightweight formula that works for most skin types. It's basically packed again with everything my skin loves. Niacinamide, aloe, ceramides, peptides, and something called MSN, methyl sulfonyl methane, which apparently calms redness. I've not heard of it before, but that's cool. But yeah, super excited to move on to their exfoliator and their cleanser that I got as well. I think there was something else I got. I can't remember, but super excited for that. I'm just in love with everything that they've had to offer so far. So. I'm excited to try more. Let's talk about Naked Sundays. I had to get this delivered from um, Australia and it took a very, very long time and was very, very expensive, but I kind of think it was worth it. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, but I believe Naked Sundays is founded on the fact that the founder, the CEO, wanted to create a sunscreen that you could easily reapply over makeup. So I think the idea of the majority of their products is that they're to use as like a base sunscreen, but then easy to apply over your makeup. So I got their Clear Glow Radiant Sun Serum, SPF 50. I got their Hydrating Glow Mist, SPF 50 Plus. I got their um, Glow and Go Lip Oil, and I also got a, ser um, a mineral sunscreen, which is right there, but we're not gonna talk about that one, because whilst it's not the worst, um, mineral sunscreen that I've ever used. I wasn't left with a white cast. It's kind of like these three that I'm, I've been using um, more so. This is actually my second bottle. I left the other bottle in a hotel room and I only had used half of it. So um, that was hard not to cry about. Let's start with their Clear Glow Radiant Sun Serum because this is the one I was most excited about and I do really, really enjoy. Think Unseen by Supergoop, but a bit less like powdery and pasty feeling. And whilst I wouldn't say this hydrates your skin, the texture feels a bit more to apply like a hydrating clear cream. Whereas I feel like Unseen by Supergoop feels like a, a melted Vaseline. Do you know what I mean? Then you're left with that really velvety touch. And that is kind of the same as this, but I don't feel as matted down and tight on the skin as I do with Unseen. So having this really clear, actually clear sunscreen that leaves me a little bit matte has been good, especially with the warmer weather, because I can apply this. It mats me a, like a little bit, not too much, to the point where I dislike it, but then it kind of slows down my like greasy, sweaty oil production. So this has watermelon extract in it, um, an antioxidant, we have squalane, in here, which moisturizes without being too greasy. Kakadu plum, again, for vitamin C, helping fight against free radical damage. And this whole product, uh, this whole brand actually is cruelty-free and vegan, I believe, across all their products. And paraben-free, which I don't love. 
But if you love a matte finish with no white cast, this is perfect. But if you don't like a matte finish, you can still use this and then apply this over the top. And this is really kind of like my going duo at the moment. This is the Hydrating Glow Mist and it really does just do that. This is like the liquid version of this, but with more hydrating ingredients in like hyaluronic acid. Again, it's completely transparent. So you kind of like close your eyes, tuck in your lips and spray over your face to give you kind of like that top up of protection. Again, you need to wear like a base sunscreen first, then you top up with this during the day, base sunscreen, makeup if you wear it, then top up with this during the day, or with this because it's clear, like it doesn't really matter. But yeah, I really love the look of this on my skin. I just wish it was a bit more dewier. So then I use this over the top and it makes my skin really, really hydrated looking and dewy. I just love the finish that these two kind of give and the extra protection that this gives this. And of course their lip oil. I don't actually know much about this. It's an SPF, um, it's an SPF 50 plus lip glow oil. Um, I got it on now, as you can see, it's kind of like, it pats in quite light. It's not like an oil oil in the sense that your lips are going to be shiny all day. I feel like it's got good staying power as well. Like you have a few drinks with this without it like transferring too much. Um, I didn't really look into this one to be honest. I like it. I don't know. And if you're ordering from Australia, just get a little, you may as well get your money's worth. <laughs> Toradin. Toradin is a brand who really concentrates on their um, many, many different weights of hyaluronic acid. And that's why I initially started avoiding this brand because I wasn't really interested in so many different type uh, molecular weights of hyaluronic acid in so many steps in my routine. But when I started trying their serum, I fell in love with it because it's kind of like a hyaluronic acid serum without leaving you like with that fake dewiness on top. Like I feel like the ordinary hyaluronic acid leaves you with like a bit of slip on your skin. This is more concentrating on the feeling of hydration rather than the look of hydration, but does still plump you up. This does have a nickname of the free second serum because it sinks so quickly into your skin. But I've talked about this before. It's their sunscreen I want to talk about today. And this has become a real favorite of mine. And surprisingly, it's a mineral sunscreen. There are very few mineral sunscreens that I can wear without looking sick and pasty and white. They're all Korean, the ones that I can wear, and this is one of them. First of all, it doesn't have that dried down powdery matte finish that I find that a lot of uh, mineral sunscreens have purely down to the really hydrating ingredients in here and the hyaluronic acid molecular weight, seven types of whatever. It also advertises itself as a non-nano sunscreen, meaning that the zinc oxide particles, um, molecule sizes aren't big enough to penetrate the skin. Therefore, don't irritate the skin as much and they say provides better protection against the sun. I don't know how true either of those statements are, but I do find this less intrusive on my skin, no irritation whatsoever. And more importantly, it feels like a chemical sunscreen with mineral filters, which sometimes is better for my rosacea and around the eyes. I don't know if you have a very deep skin tone that you're gonna find this the same, that you're gonna find this pretty much invisible on the skin. I think I just get away with it. But yeah, this is one of my favorites. Their toner is kind of fine. I used that before. like. Nothing Nothing crazy. I think I actually gave it away, um, but I'm excited to try their moisturizer. But as I said, I don't want to use so many hyaluronic acid dedicated products in one routine. So I'm going to wait to finish both of these and then I'll move on to the moisturizer. And that is some of the brands that I'm super excited about this year so far, like new discoveries for me. There are brands like Kiramoon and Solterre, new brands to me that I really, really love, but I've only tried one of their products so far. So they, they didn't quite make this video, but I know you've been asking about them. So I will be using more of their products very, very soon. And I'll keep you updated on that. But that's it for now. Let me know your brand discoveries this year, or even just product discoveries that have become your new favorites. Let me know in the comments down below. You can watch some more product reviews here, some general light entertainment here, and I'll see you over there.